Hi, I'm Kay. Thank you so much for joining me for my wig review for Tate in the color Creamy Toffee R by Amour. I would like to say thank you to Trend for Wigs for sending me this beautiful wig so I can review her for you. Also, don't forget, like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at KayWearsWigs. So, let's get started. So let's start with this color, Creamy Toffee R, really beautiful blonde, I feel. It has a root, so it's a rooted color, which is a medium brown. The rest is a blend of dark and medium golden blonde with platinum highlights. Let's look at the cup construction. We have a double monofilament top. So you can part it wherever in this area. You have a temple to temple lace front that is quite deep, which is nice. You have lace covered ear tabs with metal stays in them. You have, I wouldn't say that's an extended nape. It's lace covered. You have bra stub like adjusters and wefts at the sides and there is a little bit of stretch in there, but not much. So I would say it does run, and more cups normally run smaller. So I do think a petite average and average would fit nicely. Anything above that, you might want to double check that with the retailer. So I'm going to put Tate on and then I'm going to talk more about her then. And here's the Tate on. So what you have is a layered short pixie cut with a nice sweeping fringe i really like this fringe it falls very naturally it does fall a little bit in your face but i think you can move that back quite easily and train it so you have cute layers and the back is left slightly longer very light, it's, it's a very lightweight piece. You have permatease. There is permatease around that mono top at the sides, so you can shush it up if you want, or you can lay it flat down. Let's look at tape from all sides. So we have the front, my left hand side, my right hand side and the back. So here you can see that it's left longer at the nape, which I think gives it quite a modern touch. Fit-wise, straight out of the box, I have not moved the adjusters. She is straight out of the box. I haven't really done anything to it. I shook her a little bit and put her on. That's it. Um, so I haven't ad ad moved the adjusters. The adjusters are fairly on the widest setting already and it fits me nicely. I'm a 21.5 inch circumference, so petite average or average depending on <laughs> which manufacturer you look at. Um, so it fits nicely, but I don't think there is much more room. So if you are above average, as I said before, check with the retailer. So let's look at the lace front. I think that's really nicely done. Even though it's a darker root, I think the knots are quite fine. And then you can obviously part it wherever you like because of that double mono top. And I think, I always think double mono tops look so realistic. Let's look at the coverage. The ear tabs sit here on me, and for me that's perfect. So the coverage on me is really good. This is a little bit of my, oh no, not this one. This is a little bit of my bio hair left, but here it's, it's great coverage on me, on both sides. The fibers feel nice, not overly soft, but soft enough. Um, Shine-wise, it's straight out of the box. I do think 
um, I would need some dry shampoo to get rid of some of that artificial shine. But it is it's just a lovely colour. And this cut with this little fringe, I think it's cute. It's a really cute piece. Styling option wise, now she is a short piece. So you have the lace front, so you can pin that fringe back either to the side or in the middle, which I think is also quite a nice, gives it quite a cute look. And then look at the lace front again if you have that look. Really quite natural. Easily ear tuckable on both sides. You could, there's not enough length to do any half up, half down, but you could just clip these back on the sides. And that again gives you a slightly different look. So I'm going to take you outside so you can see Creamy Toffee R in the natural light. So I hope you enjoyed this review. The wig I was wearing at the beginning is the Braylon wig by Amour as well. Another one of their new Spring 22 collection. And I reviewed this, so I will link the information below if you're interested in having a look at that one. Thank you to Trendco Wigs again for sending me both the Braylon and the Tate so I can review them for you. I will link below all the purchase information where you can buy these and also a link to a buy me a coffee. So you can donate some money to my channel so I can bring you different wigs more often for me to review for you. So thank you for your support <laughs> and don't forget like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram at kwareswigs. Have a lovely day and I hope I see you soon. Bye!